Hey guys, so today I'm going to talk about TCG Player and uh, my personal frustrations against TCG Player today. So I ordered a bunch of cards because like I said, I was going to order $250,000 of cards and I thought, okay, I'll buy some on TCG Player. That's going to be an effective way for me to gain lots and lots of cards in a very fast manner. This was over two weeks ago. Since that time, the, all the shipments have been delayed uh, to various extents. Now, some sellers, they obviously made the effort and they, you know, they came late, but I can't blame the seller. So good on them, you know, they, but there are two sellers, at least two sellers, if not more. And here's the interesting part. A lot of Weiss, I don't know what, why this is the case, but a lot of Weiss cards seem to come from Hawaii. So yes, let me repeat this again. They come from Hawaii, and so like it's I think Ideal Eight Hundred Eight is over there, and so is the other store I ordered from that has not yet delivered, and they don't do tracking. I'm guessing it's because maybe tracking is more expensive in Hawaii, and I don't really know. But I have two different stores and two different examples, so out of multiple stores, okay. But these are two examples of what's happening. One store I. Yeah, um, it is many days later, I contact them and I say, hey, where's my package? Do you have a tracking number? Because the package is a large order and they did not put in a tracking number and until I contacted them, they didn't make any progress. So the thing just kept say saying no progress or shipping not confirmed or something like that uh, for like about a week. Then, and they're, they're the one from Nebraska. Then I was like, okay, uh, where is it? And they, they told me, oh, well, you know, we shipped it apparently without shipping, without tracking the first time around, which is crazy given that especially it's over what TCG Player would recommend. TCG Player recommends you track this item uh, given the price. So they sent it without tracking the first time and it gets sent back to them. So that happened about eight days after I ordered or seven days a week after I ordered. And then they gave me two, two tracking numbers. Neither one of the tracking numbers works. Now let, let me explain why two tracking numbers is so weird. So the tracking number, it says like pre-shipment and there's one at like 1 a.m. and there's one at like 5 a.m. So like what the blank are they doing at like 1 a.m. and 5 a.m.? It doesn't make any sense why they're sending. And, and again, it doesn't make any sense why this package would need two tracking numbers given what's in the package. So um, that's one thing, and that's, you know, many, many of these sellers are now, I don't think they have a correct system. You might be like, oh, is this like a newbie sell? No, they had 390 sales in the past 30 days. They have no bad reviews, and I, I make sure before I buy from them that this is the case. Now, the other type of seller, and I can't even blame them, um, for whatever reason, again, Weiss, a lot of these Weiss cards are located in Hawaii. Again, not sure why that's the case or, or how that came to be, but it is true. So these cards from Hawaii, they, they, they're, do they get to you? Do they not get to you? You're really at the mercy of the post. So it's one thing, sometimes you have an incompetent seller, which is what's happening in the Nebraska case. And if this incompetence continues, um, too long, I'm just gonna ask for a refund because I, I don't think it shipped and the tracking doesn't make any sense to me. Um, I'm probably gonna contact them later. And then, you know, if it gets too bad and, you know, they don't, I think it's a, it seems very scamish the way it has kind of played itself out. I don't know. I mean, maybe I will receive my cards. I just know that they haven't sent the cards yet and it's already over two weeks. Um, now, it may be the post office is sending them back the cards once again, but I find that very difficult to uh, know. And I, I ordered two pack. I ordered from two different stores, one for $151 and one for the same amount as that store. Uh, and I already received those two packages. So yeah, um, TCG player has had problems for a very long time now. And they blame the problems on the United States postage system, which I think, yes, are they responsible? Yes. 
And will I give that, those dudes in Hawaii more time than the nine business days? Yes, I will give them more time before I file a report because honestly, they're in Hawaii. It kind of makes sense to me. We're in a snowstorm right now in Texas. Okay, probably it's hard to deliver mail. But the one in Nebraska does not make any sense because that one was ordered far, far in advance. And I guess it took them seven days to get the packets back. But they never told me that like the packet, I mean, I had to contact them. They didn't contact me to tell me, oh, this is why it's so delayed. And, you know, I can only imagine that if a card goes up in price. So in this particular case, the cards actually went down in price. And I think that's why they're shipping to me. So I, I see a, a danger and I've seen this before, but even now, so, you know, cards spike in price all the time. You know, reserve list cards, right? So what I ordered, obviously, for Magic was reserve list cards. And every reserve list card is spiking like crazy. What I think happened with this particular order in, is they want me to cancel them. Because the order itself has significantly increased in price since the day I ordered it and the 10 days supposedly it was mailed back to them. So yeah, because they were reserve list cards. And I am very upset about that because I think what they're gonna do is they're gonna waste my time and cancel my order. They're gonna, or they're, they're trying to play this game where if I don't cancel it, then they get to keep the money. And if I cancel it, they get to keep the cards. But the cards have spiked considerably. Not, not I mean, they're not, oh, I'm, I, I don't wanna tell you what they are because then that means I'm not gonna get the cards probably. Um, it's very strange. I'll just put it this way. It is very strange how they behaved. And given what cards I've been trying to buy, it kind of makes sense if they decided, oh, well, in the last 10 days, it's already been nine business days. Let me see. Yeah, it's already been, it's been 12 business days already. The tracking is not working. I received the, I received every other shipment I ordered at that time, I've finally received. Some of them like really late, over nine business days. But for this particular seller, and given the items I ordered, it would make sense based on the financial, you know, if they wanted to cancel the order, they would just make it very difficult and they would pretend to send it out and not actually send it out, forcing me to cancel the order. It's very sad. Um, and that's why, you know, I'm not a big fan of buying reserve list cards on TCG Player. Uh, this is something they do. They, I mean, I've had that experience for since 2015 when I was buying off TCG Player where the seller is going to wait to see if there's, especially given that I, I'm trying to buy them out. And that's going to alert them that something is happening with this card. And they're going to wait before shipping it out and then the card spikes and then they pretend to send it to you and then, oh, you know, it got sent back to us. Oh my goodness, you know, but there's no evidence of that outside of the guy's email, which I can show you, or the, um, the message on TCG Player. There's no evidence on my side. He's just telling me this and, oh, we're going to send it to you with uh, two fake shipping numbers, neither one that works. Like, and it's like, why would I need two? And, you know, I just need one that I can plug in and it actually tells me where that it's been shipped. So that's where I am. Um, if somehow they cancel my effing order, I'm going to put them on blast so hard because I know exactly what they tried to do. I bought the reserve list bulk cards. I bought lots of them. And I've already had one order cancel on me, and that's fine because they're upfront with it. Right? Oh, we don't have this inventory. Oh, we sold the inventory via our website. We didn't update the Crystal Commerce, some BS like that. I can take that because it's not like a super waste of my time. That just means that whatever I bought the price at, you didn't like the price I bought at, even though you were trying to sell at that price. Fine. At least it's not a waste of my time. This dude has wasted 14 days of my time. So I, again, it's, you know, I can show you the email messages and it doesn't make any sense to me until you realize what cards I bought. Then once I show you the cards I bought, then it kind of makes sense why they delayed 
14 days to see the card go up in price. Not every store is like this, but I find that a lot of, because a TCG player has like anybody, like anyone with a bank account can start a TCG account, right? So the qualifications, the quality control, all of these things are not non-existent or they're, they depend on each store. So again, not happy with that at all. 